Many people believe woolly mammoths disappeared around 10,000 years ago, but surprisingly they were still alive until approximately 4,000 years ago, during the very period when the pyramids were being constructed in Egypt. Their last refuge was Wrangell Island, a remote island in the Arctic Ocean. Isolated from the impact of humans, what led to the woolly mammoth's extinction? Today, we're diving into the fascinating story of the mammoth's last days. The woolly mammoth appeared in the early Pliocene of the Cenozoic era, about 5.3 million years ago, and flourished over a wide area spanning Eurasia, northern Canada, and reaching Alaska. Yet, the onset of climatic shifts around 40,000 years ago, coupled with the advent of human hunting about 10,000 years ago, progressively constricted their living spaces. This red area here represents the suitable habitat for the woolly mammoths. However, approximately 6,000 years ago, it became evident that almost no suitable habitats remained for their survival. As sea levels rose, Areas that were originally land masses became islands, leading to the unintentional isolation of some mammoth herds on these islands. However, this isolation was actually a paradise for them. In 2017, Dr. Laura Arp from the University of Helsinki reported that at the time, the island was a tundra region abundant in food. Analysis of isotopes extracted from woolly mammoth fossils found here indicated that the levels of carbon and nitrogen, which reflect their nutritional status, were normal. In other words, although the woolly mammoths were trapped on the island, there was plenty of food available. Moreover, this place was beyond the reach of humans. It was, in fact, about 140 kilometers away from the mainland. So thousands of years ago, it was unlikely that humans could have crossed over to this island to hunt the mammoths. So, if it wasn't due to nutritional deficiencies or human hunting, then why did the woolly mammoth go extinct? Two years before Dr. Laura Arp's discovery, there was already research analyzing the cause of the woolly mammoth's extinction. Geneticist Dr. Alfred Roca analyzed the DNA of two woolly mammoths found here and identified a lack of genetic diversity in one of them. He estimated that at that time, about 200 to 800 mammoths lived on this island. It was discovered that a small population size, persisting for thousands of years, can result in inbreeding, leading to an accumulation of diseases and harmful recessive genes, which could potentially cause the species to collapse due to various mutations. Given that no new woolly mammoths were entering from the outside, the isolated population was unable to spread new genes resulting in a further decrease in genetic diversity and hastening the extinction of the population. Furthermore, in 2017, geneticist Rebecca Rogers analyzed the genes of woolly mammoth fossils from Wrangell Island and identified a mutation in the FOXQ1 gene, which is involved in hair development. She argued that if such a mutation hindered proper hair development, the mammoths would struggle to adapt to the cold environment, possibly leading to their extinction. Subsequently, Dr. Aaron Fry of the University of Chicago conducted a comparative analysis of the DNA from the woolly mammoths found on Wrangell Island with that of modern Asian elephants and other extinct mammoth species from earlier eras. Surprisingly, a mutation was discovered in the NKD1 gene related to male reproductive capability in the DNA of the mammoths from Wrangell Island. And there were also issues found in the HYLS1 gene, which is involved in the development of cellular cilia. This suggests that the mammoth population may have increased with individuals unable to reproduce, or with cells that did not develop normally, even after mating. Moreover, a mutation was also found in the OR5A1 gene. This gene is associated with an olfactory receptor that detects a chemical compound called beta-ionun, which is emitted by flowers. This implies that the woolly mammoths on Wrangell Island may have had trouble detecting the scent of flowers, potentially affecting their ability to feed properly. Another mutation was also found in the neuro-G3 gene, which is related to insulin secretion. 
In mammals, a malfunction in this gene can lead to symptoms like diabetes, diarrhea, and vomiting. Such an accumulation of harmful mutations in an isolated population, leading to eventual extinction, is referred to as mutational meltdown. From a distance, Wrangel Island around 4,000 years ago might have seemed like a paradise, but up close, it could have been a nightmare filled with mammoths afflicted with genetic mutations. By the way, the reduction in genetic diversity mentioned earlier was not the sole cause of the woolly mammoth's extinction. Some scientists have focused on environmental factors as well. Do you remember that we mentioned Dr. Laura Arp, who analyzed isotopes in the woolly mammoths from Wrangell Island? During her analysis, she made an unusual discovery. Interestingly, large amounts of sulfur and strontium were detected in the mammoth bones. Dr. Arp suggested that during the period when the woolly mammoths were active in this region, increased rainfall due to global warming might have accelerated rock weathering, leading to the release of toxic heavy metals into the soil and potentially contaminating the mammoth's drinking oh. water. In essence, she proposed that environmental pollution could have led to a rapid decline in mammoth populations. Another factor she focused on was the icing phenomenon. Between about 4,000 and 5,500 years ago, as the climate of Wrangell Island gradually warmed, it experienced frequent rainfall. However, the issue arose when rain fell on snow and froze, preventing the mammoths from pushing aside the snow to eat the grass underneath. Although it lasted for a short period, this icing phenomenon is believed to have caused mammoths to starve to death. In fact, this phenomenon, where animals starve due to frozen snow, still occurs today. Reports from 2003 indicated that a significant event occurred where 20,000 musk oxen in Canada and several thousand reindeer on Wrangell Island starved to death, both due to similar climatic conditions. In the era where pyramids were being constructed, on a distant and isolated island, the last of Earth's mammoths were roaming through their final days. Mammoths dominated an entire geological epoch and the tragedy of their extinction still resonates deeply in the modern world. And yet, at the same time, the fact that we can scientifically imagine their existence and last moments from the puzzle of their fragmented fossils is truly astounding. Science is a window to the world, and this has been Science Dream. Thank you for watching.